Lake Fork, the trophy bass capital of Texas, and it's also a pretty good white bass fishery. Back in the early 2000s, somewhere in there, not sure how, but some white bass got into uh, Lake Fork and to the chagrin of a lot of bass fishermen up there, they've done really, really well. I recently got a chance to go to the lake and fish with guy Jeff Sanderson, and it was as advertised. It wasn't long we were on fish and a lot of fish. It was a good day and it, it's a good alternative to think about. That is a Lake Fork sand bass. Now, tell me about the size of the fish here compared to some of the other lakes. Let me see that one for you. The sand bites in this lake are, they're just massive. They're thick. I've caught, I've caught good fish out of Tawakini, Cooper, but I honestly don't think they compare to these Lake Fork fish. It's just a phenomenal fishery. Uh, these sand bites are huge. There's a bunch of them uh, and they're hungry all the time. They just want to eat. I remember my dad catching some when I was a kid, few and far between. That was right after the lake opened. Uh, I, I fished, bass fished out here, never caught one, never heard of one being caught until the last probably seven or eight years. A uh, few started popping up here and there, and then really the last probably two years, three years, is just really turned on. I've been doing four hour trips morning and afternoon and running 200, 300 fish a trip. Uh, just pretty constant, you know, action the whole four hours. Uh, when you pull up on these fish, they're, they're pretty much staying put. And you, if you pull up on a school of them, you can just sit there and just pick at them the whole entire four hours. I've really kind of been concentrating late fall through the winter. Uh, the dead of winter, when that water temperature gets down in the 40s, the dead sticking's down by the dams, phenomenal. Uh, after they've run up the creeks, late spring when they, when they pull back out on these humps and stack up, they're hungry, post-spawn, uh, it's just, it can't be beat. What do the bass fishermen that you've talked to, the bass guys, what, what is their opinion of these fish and what's their opinion of you out here fishing for them? Oh, they love us out here fishing for them if we're cleaning them. They, uh, they're not overly happy for them being in here, but uh, they're here. Uh, they want to get rid of them. I don't think it ever will. But a lot of the bass guys down here are, are learning to fish for them and then they're starting to run a few trips. Uh, it's just too good of a fishery to let it slide by you. These fish like this bait moving quick. Kind of like that. Now that I said it, I went ahead and sped it up a little bit. but they like it moving fast through the water and that spinning reel. Now when they come up and start hitting that surface, that swim bait will go just fast enough. But uh, the bait casting, the loose reels, the, uh, you know, seven, three, eight, one, to get eight to one gear ratio seem to be a whole lot. They just move so much more line. I don't see a whole lot of difference in morning or afternoon trips. Uh, I seem to catch just, fishing seems to be just good in the evening as it is in the morning. Uh, it is just, I don't think you can have a bad trip out here. 